Hey everyone, this is George Kroos. Welcome back to another Mindset Monday. I love that sound. Mindset Mondays. Here we go. Okay, so we are into the fourth week of Mindset Mondays. In the first week, I talked about like, what's that compelling reason? Like, what's that really big thing that pulls you to that goal? And what I shared for myself was that I actually talked about how I went from like shifting to I want to lose weight and look better to like, hey, I want to be around for my kids. I want to be healthy. I want to be able to enjoy my time. I want to be able to like bend over without, you know, my body creaking every single time. Right. So kind of really is more about, you know, taking care of my family. It was more just looking good, which I don't think it you know, lasts that long. Um, the second week, what I talked about was really kind of those goals that you keep, those those small, medium and those those big goals. And, and how you actually kind of define them, break them up and how you get those smaller goals and you do them, you know, consistently, which eventually leads you to the big goals. Um, in the third week, I talked about habits and why they're so important and, and really not negotiating with yourself, but getting to a space where it's just what you do. You know, if you commit to something, it's just what you do and how you get your mind to think that way. And so this, this week, I'm going to talk about meaningful measures and I'm talking about meaningful measures. And I think this is actually something that I think about uh, so often in both education, both personally, and really kind of like when we spend our time, how do we know um, we're actually getting the most out of it? And I'm going to talk about something in education that's always kind of irked me. Uh, being independent, you know, kind of working on my own, being consulting, I'm going to tell you straight up, one of the things I do not miss about, you know, being in schools is meetings. Uh, because I felt we would have meetings about ridiculous things. I'm like, this just, I know the whole, like, this could have been sent in the email thing, but I feel sometimes we would have meetings about planning for meetings. And it just kind of was like this endless cycle. And I remember watching this Stephen Covey video, and he talked about like a cadence of accountability. And so when you actually end a meeting, talking about like, hey, you know, as we walk out of here, what are some things that we want to make sure that we come back to and measure? I think this is a really powerful way to kind of look at like saying, hey, when we walk out of here, here's things that we want to make sure that we achieve, you know, this week, this month, whatever. And then and then you start off the next meeting, revisiting those objectives, revisiting those measures, and then talking about like, where are you at? Where's your progress in that? How are you getting to that space? I think it creates an accountability to the meetings that we actually have as opposed to just, you know, talking for the sake of talking. And that's one of the things, uh, you know, if you want to make something happen, go make it happen. Talking about it, you know, and like, hey, let me think about that. And I think a lot of times we say like, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to think about that a little for a bit. And that's a really great stall tactic for us not to get anything done. I think having that, that cadence of accountability, you know, professionally is something that would not only be beneficial to your development, as an organization, uh, as a professional, but it would actually make that time, you know, more cherished if that we knew we were actually using that time to achieve something, not just to talk about talking and which seems to be um, a, a lot of, you know, what happens in education. So on a personal level, I think sometimes we set goals that maybe aren't really um, compelling and they're outside things and maybe not as important. So for example, um, Think about this in social media, you know, I could say like, hey, I want to get X amount of likes. I want to get, you know, this much watch time, this much stuff that I want to do. And it is so easy to get sucked into that and, you know, get sucked into like using, you know, hashtags so you can get as many people seeing your pictures as not or your videos on Instagram or, you know, videos on YouTube. And I am I'm going to say I'm not going to pretend that I've never thought about that. Uh, that I've never thought about followers and stuff like that. But I just, I don't think it really, it just never has really driven me. What I want to focus on, I think this is a really good thing, you know, for kids uh, to develop in them as well. If I do really great stuff and it it gets to the people that need to hear it, that's awesome. That's that's what I want to do, right? And I think a lot of people will say like, hey, I want, you know, to make X amount of money and they focus on the wrong thing as opposed to like, hey, I want to do really great work. And I'll tell you, if you do really great work, you know, you'll be able to make an income off of it eventually. But if you focus on, um, you know, those those things that those outside objectives, I think that it actually takes away from your work. If you focus on getting likes, you might actually be taken away from who you are as, as a person and, and kind of looking at that too. 
So it's just kind of thinking about like looking at those goals, sharing this. And uh, as I've talked about quite a bit with um, my, my weight, uh, I wanted to lose weight and that's one of the big goals. And what I actually do is I do weigh myself consistently. I do weigh myself every morning, kind of have an idea. But every Monday, I write the number down, right? And I have that big goal. But I have those measures of like where I want to go so I can see this. And so uh, I, I share those measures and then I write it down so I can see my progression over time. And I do that consistently, you know, same, same uh, day, same week. Uh, kind of see that so I can see those numbers. And I have them in one space where I look at it consistently the other thing uh, that I do is and this is like uh, when I used to work out I was just kind of like hey I'm gonna work out on this or I'm just gonna get a workout in but now I'm actually much more thoughtful of this and when I work out I actually write out all the exercises that I'm gonna do and just a, a an easy way to kind of like measure how I'm doing uh, and, and kind of go through that I have a set of how many I want to do and when I'm done I cross it out. And I'll tell you, it just feels so good to cross out things that you've achieved as you're going, right? So when when you're looking at those goals, are you looking at doing something really meaningful uh, for yourself or are you looking for extrinsic, you know, um, incentives? Are you looking for things that, you know, it's basically dependent upon how other people value it? And like I said, I would rather, you know, and I think we can get caught up in this focusing on like how many people like it, how many people join our group, how many do this. I just want to do good stuff. And I think if you do good stuff consistently, people will find you. And the people that really are excited about the work that you're doing. And so kind of keeping that focus to that space too. But really like where is that cadence of accountability? Like I talked about on a professional level to kind of start off this short podcast you know, how do we come back and see how we're doing? But I think, you know, on a personal level, we can do that too. So like writing down those goals um, and actually going through and being able to see in a space will really help you, um, you know, have some meaningful measures uh, of the work that you do. And so as, as I end this podcast, I want you to think, you know, whether it's personal, whether it's professional or, or both, what are the meaningful measures that will help you to get to your goals, to help you, you know, ensure that you're keeping up with your habits and where can you see them? Where do you actually see that? So I hope you got something out of this. I appreciate you being here at another Mindset Monday. Uh, I, I really enjoy doing this. This is one of my uh, measures is I want to take some of the lessons I've learned, you know, during COVID on how I've really kind of taken charge of my health, taking charge of my wellness, and how can I help other people? And so I really hope this helps other people, but it's good for me to kind of talk about it and just kind of, you know, really evaluate, you know, like, this is what I'm doing, what I'm working, do I need, what do I need to tweak, what I need to share. So you being a part of this journey with me has been really appreciated. I hope you've been enjoying these short lessons or these short, you know, podcasts, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for all you do. Take care.